What's up, guys, and welcome, Daily Theologians, Monkeypox. Let's talk about it. Uh, is it the next mm, crisis where uh, where it's used for medical tyranny? That's the question on the top of everyone's mind. And let's be honest, we all expect this to happen at some point. If it's not this, it will be something else. I didn't expect it to be called Monkeypox, but it's 2022, so who knows? The director of the general WHO might know, and they've observed that, uh, well, at first they weren't sure if this was going to qualify, and it actually appears from the article that most experts thought the risk was moderate and primarily affects men who are homosexual, if we're still allowed to say that, uh, which shows something of perhaps the correlation here. But 9 out of 15 experts in the committee did not believe that the monkeypox outbreak warranted an international health emergency, which is the highest alarm the who can sound. Now, do any of us really care what the who says at this point? I'm not sure we do. But they still have uh, they still have power, and, and they're saying basically that uh, the White House is considering declaring monkeypox to be a public health emergency. And uh, I, I don't know, you know, if if this is a legit thing, but it seems like we are living in the book of Revelation. Like, what's next? Uh, stars will be falling from the sky. There will be wormwood poison. Uh, the water will turn to blood, perhaps. These things uh, are probably coming in the not-too-distant future, though I'm not a date setter. It's just uh, the world is crazy, and we have to admit the last few years have been a bit on the strange side. Uh, is monkeypox as agenda-driven as... Uh -huh. Many, including prominent Christian voices, have questioned whether monkeypox will become COVID 2.0. Uh, I mean, I think it's coming, whatever the next thing is. Uh, is this going to be the next thing used to stoke fear and gain control? Uh, the Nuclear Threat Initiative partnered with the Munich Security Conference to simulate a functional global pandemic involving an unusual strain of monkeypox occurring in mid-May 2022. It's almost like they're running the play in a video game and then they release it on us at this point. Is that is that what's happening? It seems like that's what's happening. According to the NTI, participants included 19 senior leaders and experts from across Africa and the Americas, Asia, and Europe. So anyways, uh, this thing is coming. Now, Jan Markle is an end times uh, advocate. She really focuses on a pre-trib view of uh, end times, the rapture, that sort of thing, which, hey, who's not for, uh, for that uh, – optimistic kind of view in terms of not going through the tribulation, but whatever the case, uh, it certainly does appear like things are setting up for a end time scenario with the Antichrist and things of that nature. Whether we go through that or not, I hope we don't, but probably think we do. Anyways, um, it does seem like there's a biblical uh, agenda being run here in terms of the end times. Uh, I, again, not a date set or anything like that. It's just monkeypox, really? Like, is this this is happening? Uh, so let me know what you think below. The, the solution, of course, is always to repent and believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of the God-man, Jesus Christ. And the reason for this is people's thinking is darkened. They become foolish in their thinking. I think we can all see that. And uh, people need to repent and believe because the day of the judgment of Jesus is coming soon. He's coming back to judge, as he said he would. And he said, no one knows the day or the hour, so be ready and keep your lamps burning. Let me know what you think below. Leave a comment and remember to take a moment and hammer that like button. Like the 95 Theses. Thank you so much and God bless.